What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well and staying safe and healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. It is time now for the United States COVID variant update for Friday, July 21st, 2023. We haven't done one of these in a while between being away on vacation and... Uh, the issue with the CDC not putting everything in order. It was all jumbled up. You would see a high number mixed with a low number and then another high number. Well, this week, take a look here. It's all in order. And I had said yesterday during the pandemic update, wasn't certain if we were going to do one of these this week. But here we are. We are doing a very proportion update. The pandemic update will come just about an hour or two after this video. And I can already tell you it's going to be a busy day. And unfortunately, we do have a sad death to pass a long, which we'll talk about that later on. Maybe you've already heard about it. I won't spill the beans yet, but unfortunately, a sad non-COVID related death did pass today. Uh, starting off with the national level. On the national level, yes, we're going to read all these numbers. Then when we get to the, um, you know, regions, we'll probably stop it at a certain point. I don't know, maybe two or three percent. I don't know. We're not going to, obviously, we're not going to do all of them. We'd be here all day. So starting off here, XVB116 nationally is the dominating variant at 14.8%. Then comes XBB191 at 13.2%, followed by XBB2.3 at 13%, XBB1.5 at 12.3%, and then the ever, I want to say the word popular because it's getting a lot of attention, EG.5 is now at 11.4%, and a note about EG.5, it is a potential candidate to outpace XBB116. I don't think XBB116 is going to stay dominant that long. I expect by summer's end, EG.5 will probably be the dominating variant. And as we go on, I, you'll kind of see why I'm saying that. XVB 116.6, 9.3%. 1, 116.1, 8.8%. XVB 192, 5.6%. XVB 3%. XVB 1.5.72, 2 2.2%. CH 1.1, 1.7%. FE 1.1, 1.1%, XVB 1.5.68, XVB 1.5.10, both at 1%, EU 1.1, 0.6%, XVB 1.5.59, 0.4%, XVB 1.5.1, 0.3%, and if you thought I was done, no. The other category now comes in at 0.1%, so yes, there are some other stuff going on out there let's get to our first region and you'll see why eg.5 is concerning region one connecticut maine massachusetts new hampshire rhode island and vermont in this region we see eg.5 is already dominating at 18.9 percent then comes xbb 2.3 at 15.8 percent then XBB 1.5 at 14.1%, followed by XBB 1.16.1 at 11.1%, then XBB 116 at 7.9%, XBB 1.5.72 at 6.9%, XBB 192 at 6.2%, XBB 191 at 6%, XVB 116.6 at 4.7%, XVB at 3.4%, FE 1.1 at 1.8%, XVB 1.5.59 at 1.2%. Moving on to region 2, and as you can see here, yes, we are clearly still in variant soup. Now you're going to see something different in region 2. New Jersey, New York, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. In this region, EG.5 is not the dominating variant. XBB191 is at 17.1%, followed by XBB116 at 15.1%, then XBB2.3 at 12.7%, followed by EG.5, which is at 12.2%. XBB1.5 is at 11.8%. XBB116.1 is at 9%. XBB 1.16.6 is at 7%, XVB192 is at 4.6%, FE1.1 in this region comes in at 2.6%, then comes XVB1.5.59 
1.5.72 at 2.3%. Then XVB is 1.6%, followed by XVB 1.5.10 at 1.3%, and the old CH 1.1 is at 1.1%. Region 3, Delaware, District of Columbia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and West Virginia. In this region, you will see XVB 2.3 it comes in at 16.2%. XVB is XVB 1.16 is at 14.4%. Then comes EG.5 at 13.4%. XVB 191 is at 12.1%. XVB 192 is 8.6%. XVB 1.5 is at 8.5%, XVB 116.1 is at 8.1%, XVB 116.6 is at 5.8%, XVB 1.5.72 is at 3.8%, and the original XVB is at 2.4%, FE 1.1 is at 1.7%, CH 1.1 is at 1.5%, and XVB is at XVB 1.5.10 is at 1.5%. 1%. Bit of a tongue twister as there are just so many different variants. But the number one thing you will notice, uh, so far we've gone through three regions, well four if you include the national one. Uh, we've seen different things in every region. How about region four, which includes Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Kentucky, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. What's going on in this region? Could it be any more mixed up? It is XVB 1.16 Point six is at 14.2%, as is XVB 116 at 14.2%, XVB 1.5 at 13.3%, XVB 191 at 12.3%, XVB 2.3 at 10.7%, then finally comes the EG.5 at 10%. Then you have XVB 116.1 at 7.4%. XVB 192 is at 4.9%. Then XVB 1.5.72 at 2.9%. Then XVB at 2.8%. XVB 1.5.10 is at 1.8%. CH 1.1 is at 1.4%. Then just under that comes XVB 1.5.68 at 1.3%, then FE 1.1 is at 1.1%. Moving on to Region 5, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Minnesota, Ohio, and Wisconsin. Let's see what's different about this region. XVB 116, 17.7%. XVB 15, you know, the variant that used to be the dominating variant back during the winter surge, that's still at 15.8%. XVB191 is at 12.5%. EG.5 is at 12%. XVB2.3 is at 9.9%. XVB116.1 is at 9.7%. XVB192 is at 6%. XVB116.6 is at 5.5%. XVB is at 3%. XVB 1.5.72 is at 2.6%, and XVB 1.5.68 is at 1.7%. Region 6, Arkansas, Louisiana, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. In this region, XVB 1.5 is at 22.4% still, so it's still by far dominating. Then comes XVB 116 at 19.8%. XVB 2.3 is at 12%. XBB 1.16.6 is at 11.6%. XBB 1.16.1 is at 11%. And then you have XBB 191 at 7.7%. Then you have EG.5 at 5.1%. XBB 192 at 2.8%. XBB at 2.3%. FE 1.1 is at 1.6% and XVB 1.5.10 is at 1%. Region 7, this is our wildcard region, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska. Often we see uh, the random variants go into the lead here and that's still the case. XVB 191 is still at 19%. Then comes the old XVB 1.5 at 16.5%. XVB 116.1 is at 14.5%. Then comes XVB 116 at 14.4%. XVB 2.3 is at 
XVB 1.9.2 is at 5.5%. XVB 1.5.72 is at 3.7%, as is the new EG.5. And XVB 1.16.6 is at 3%. XVB 1.5.59 is at 1.8%. And XVB is at 1.5%. Quick disclaimer here. All these subvariants are subvariants of the Omicron family. So these are not a totally new variant. It is all Omicron. It's just getting further and further away from Omicron, but it is still Omicron. Region 8, Colorado, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Utah, and Wyoming. And in this region, XVB 1.5 is at 20.6%. But then comes EG.5, which is already up to 17.9%. XVB is at 15.7%. XVB116 is at 13%. XVB191 is at 12.1%. XVB2.3 is at 8.8%. XVB116.1 is at 3.6%. XVB192 is at 3.5%. And EU1.1 is at 3%. Region 9, Arizona. California, Hawaii, Nevada, American Samoa, Commonwealth of Northern Marinara Islands, and Federated States of Microsenia. In this region, we see XVB 2.3 is at 14.9%. That's the dominating variant in this region. XVB 116 is at 14.5%. XVB 191 is at 14.4%, EG.5 is at 12.6%, XBB 1.5 is at 10.9%, XBB 116.1 is at 9.5%, XBB 116.6 is at 6.4%, XBB 192 is at 6.2%, XBB is at 4.3%, and CH 1.1 is at 2.1%, finally followed by XBB 1.5.68 at 1.2%. Region 10. Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, and Washington, which is our final region. In this region, we see XVB 116 is at 18.9%. It is the dominating variant. XVB 2.3 is at 14.2%. EG.5 is at 10.8%. XVB 1.5 is at 10.3%. CH 1.1 is at 9.8%. XVB 1.91 is at 9.3%. XVB 116.1 is at 6.9%. XVB 1.9. 9.2 is at 6.4%. XVB 5.9, or excuse me, XVB is at 5.9%. Uh, XVB 1.16.6 is at 4.2%. And finally, XVB 1.5.59 is at 1.8%. That is a mouthful. There are a lot of subvariants, and the reason why we have to go through each region, as you clearly see here, the dominating variant is different from region to region. Uh, the top five subvariants are different from region to region. We do have a couple regions where EG.5 is either dominating or about to be dominating. And I do think that is eventually going to be the dominating variant. Alrighty, folks, that does it for this week's uh, variant proportion update. We'll have another variant proportion update, not next week, but the following week providing the CDC keeps the data nice and neat. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. If you know anyone that needs to see this life-saving and important information to help keep everyone safe, by all means, share with them. I'll see you all again just in about an hour or two for the pandemic update. So I'll see you all back again a little bit later. Until I see you again later, stay safe, everyone, and have a great afternoon. Thanks for watching.